Welcome back for another video guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you haven't already checked out yesterday's video, go do that right now. All the details for the giveaway is in that video. So go check out yesterday's video after this one. Also, if you guys would like to send stuff to the PO box, letters and all that good stuff, feel free to do that. The link will be in the description of each video. Now these are rare Star Wars toys worth money. <laughs> All right, guys, today's shout out goes to Aaron Harris. Aaron says, give me a shout out, Aaron Harris. Thanks, Couch. Aaron, there's your shout out. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. And guys, if you want a shout out in a future video, all you have to do is be subscribed, comment below, and I will get around to giving you guys a shout out. So without further ado, guys, let's hop right into this video and start off with one of the first Star Wars toys. Now, this is Luke Skywalker with the double telescoping lifesaver. So one of the earliest figures in the Star Wars series was Luke Skywalker with the double telescoping lifesaver. Now, this was created as a special release before Star Wars figures released to the public. Now, these are definitely hard to find, and they have an evaluation of up to over a thousand dollars. Now this figure actually includes a rare lifesaver that is not seen in later figures. Next up is the Vinyl Cape Jawa. Now this toy can fetch thousands of dollars. It's estimated to be worth up to $3,000, but sometimes it could sell for even more. Now this 70s toy included the vinyl cape instead of the cloth cape from the later models. So it definitely sets itself apart from all the other ones that were the similar toy, but it had the cloth cape instead of the vinyl cape the vinyl cape being the valuable one. So this makes it a hot commodity to add to your Star Wars collection. Moving on to the Pally Toy Medical Droid figure. Now this toy is pretty rare. You could sell from anywhere from a hundred bucks to several thousands of dollars. Be on the lookout for those toys and you know, yard sales or flea markets or things like that. Next up is the Han Solo with the blaster. This is also from 1978 and this has an estimated value of around a thousand dollars. Obviously it depends on the market, the demand at the time, how hot Star Wars is. Collectors will pay anything if there's only a limited amount out there and obviously it's going to be worth more if it's in the original packaging and not damaged that will increase the value tremendously next up is yak face now this character appeared in the return of the jedi and this 1985 toy released right before the collapse of the entire line because the figure shipped to europe and became hard to find it is now worth around a thousand dollars in perfect condition moving on to a very well-known toy here this is the rocket bubble fett before the empire strikes back release now what's interesting about this is that it had a rocket blaster that the company later had to remove due to choking hazard. Now the figure commands over $2,000 in mint condition. Next up is the Obi-Wan Kenobi with the double telescoping lifesaver. This is another rare figure to find from 1978 and it has an estimated value of up to six thousand dollars man wouldn't you like to find one of these at a yard sale six thousand dollars being on the high end guys in the packaging pristine condition all that good stuff if it's just the loose figure it's going to be obviously worth a lot less next up is luke i am your father Darth Vader with the double telescoping lifesaver. Now before the double telescoping lifesaver gave way to the one piece lifesaver, seen on later figures, Kenner released the original characters featuring this now rare edition. The Darth Vader figure that features the saver draws up to around $7,000 and possibly more if the figure is intact and packaged. Moving on to the blue snaggle tooth. Now this guy is worth around $500, maybe a little more. So what sets this toy apart from the regular blue snaggle tooth is that this one featured a blue garment instead of the traditional red suit, making it more valuable than the later figures. And to finish all these Star Wars toys off is a character seen in Star Wars animated series, Vlix. And this can go up to, believe it or not, $4,000 for the green droid. This rare figure comes from a series that was canceled after a handful of episodes, making it a more valuable toy for the Star Wars collectors out there. And it would probably only increase in value going forward. Wouldn't you love to find one of these things at a yard sale, garage sale, flea market? Man, that would be just an awesome find to find something, a little toy worth $4,000. So there you have it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget the giveaway is going on right now. Go check out my last video. I'll put a card up here. You'll be able to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching, supporting, subscribing. I appreciate all the support in the comments. Until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.